Hi guys, Pete here, N6QW. What we're looking at is a little project here for the uh, 10 meter SSB transceiver. And I've thrown together a um, perhaps a little novel way of tuning the, uh, the radio. Uh, we have a lot of people bitching about the uh, encoders is skipping digits. And uh, you know, they're just, uh, when they hear background noise in the receiver, they worry about that too. Anyway, uh, I've set this up with a keypad, a little keypad here, which is looks a little bit like like this. And I'll readjust this thing right here. And so when it boots up, it just shows zero on the top line. But I had the, the pads set up so that the digits one through six pick slices of the 10 meter band. So if you press the, here it reboots up to zero, press the one, it shows it at 28.00000. If you press a 2, it shows a 28.1000. If you press a 3, it shows it at 28.2000. And if you press a 4, it gives you 28.3. If you press a 5, it gives you 28.4. If you press a 6, it gives you 28.5. Most of the activity is between 28.0 and 28.6, although you have a lot more of the rest of the band uh, that just aren't the stations up there. So unlike uh, what they've seen in the past. Now the feature of this is we don't use an encoder. Uh, essentially, we have up down on, up down buttons on the uh, on the Arduino uh, so that we can tune this thing. And there we go tuning. So we've just tuned it up. Uh, about one kilohertz and the step tuning response to this I, I will have a separate button for the step tuning although in one piece of software that I wrote we actually uh, picked one of the buttons to set the step we had two bu two buttons to s s set the step rate but the default is 100 so we're going up in frequency and if you just press and hold it you can move it up you get a sense of how much how long you have to hold it down to move it to the next digit and then of course you can move it down so I set the uh, the rate is pretty long because otherwise if you just touch it you know move 20 kilohertz so we're tuning up and down and then uh, if you do this you get Pete N6 QW rocks so there's all kind of messages you can put on here and for some unknown reason, you lose the uh, step rate when you do that. I have started playing with the software. But uh, there we are. Let's go down here to 28100. And we can move that up there. There's a setting in the software. You can tune how fast, it, how fast or slow it's tuning. But essentially, we can not have an encoder and just tune this. There you go. One hertz at a time, or a hundred hertz at a time. So you get a little skilled at this. You can move it down one hundred hertz at a time. And of course, if you use the other step tuning rate, you can do that. So uh, I'm looking at this to be <clears throat> an alternative using an encoder, because then you don't have to tie up the panel space, and you have just a little keypad, and uh, we can do all kinds of things with this. So you have a total of twelve buttons. So if you use two for the up and down, that'll leave you 10. So it's 10 band slices. And I had this set up on another rig that I actually tuned in different bands. Like you press a one, you get 160 meters. You press two, you get 80 meters, etc. So you have a lot of options there. So it eliminates two controls on the front panel, uh, that those being a band switch as such, and the other, the encoder. And of course, uh, the pins are live. Uh, pins 2 and 3 are live. So if you did want to put an encoder in this thing, you could do it as well. But uh, you you don't need to. So if you're trying to conserve panel space, you can do this all with a little keypad. So there we are, 28200. And there we are, uh, 28.0, which is pin 1. And what have you. So nice little keypad, about $5.35 from uh, Jameco Electronics. And it's not too hard to put this code together. And there's certainly more sophisticated code than what I came up with. 
and then the upper sideband lower sideband uh, there'll be a switch you can select those so that'll change either right in the, the default is upper sideband because that's what mostly the operation is on on uh, 10 meters but you can throw the switch and it'll go down to lower sideband and of course the display changes as well so pete here a uh, little keypad tuning And that may be too slow for some folks, but not fast enough for others. So anyway, um, Pete here, N6QW, just showing what could be done. And you eliminate an encoder and you eliminate a band switch. So there we are, shifting bands. That was really funny. When you do the Pete Rocks here, it has uh, it has a memory. So it'll memory remember where you're at. Here, let's uh, let's do this. Let's move this up to some number like uh, 20, 2801-700. And I know it does it on one of the bands, so let's see if it comes back to that 2801-700. Yeah, there you go, 2801-700. So the band that you picked to launch that will return to that frequency after you do it. So that, like for instance, if you made that a step, if you made that a step, uh, you change the step, you wouldn't lose the frequency when you come back. So that's the uh, value of that. So Pete here, N6QW, and we're looking at uh, a new way of tuning the 10-meter single sideband transceiver. N6QW, seven threes.